Welcome to the Wedding Business Growth Coach Podcast, a podcast dedicated to sharing everything you need in bite-sized episodes to set up your wedding business for success and get your diary fully booked, full of those dream wedding clients. You're here with me, Jen Maynard, Wedding Business Growth Coach and founder of the Boho Bride Guide Wedding Blog and Supply Directory. Each episode is full of value and structured around my Wedding Business Anchor Fundamentals Framework to give you straightforward, step-by-step activities to put in place into your business that will position yourself as the go-to wedding supplier within your specialism. Let's go! Hello and welcome to this episode of the Wedding Business Growth Coach podcast. It is fabulous to have you here today. Um, Jen Maynard here. And if you have been following me on Instagram, um, the last couple of weeks, I've had a little bit of a um, saga with my little ones. Um, The youngest one had uh, caught croup and then a week later, the eldest one did. So it's been a bit of a juggle, um, but I am back in the office today and I'm very excited to be sharing this podcast episode. Um, So today we are going to be talking about my nine top tips to maximise the visibility of your wedding directory profiles. As I'm regularly asked by our approved supplier community on the Boho Bride Guide, how they are able to really maximise their visibility and clickability of their wedding directory profiles on our directory called the Guide Directory. Um, So I thought it would be useful to share my top tips um, on how to maximise your profile's search engine optimization to ultimately increase the visibility in Google search engine results page. So that's when your um, ideal wedding client goes searching on Google and we basically want your directory profile and your content to be appearing in the Google search results. So let's go. Firstly, I wanted to share from my experience in um, running the Boho Bride Guide blog and wedding directory, um, what I see as the major benefit of being part of online wedding directories. When prospective wedding clients are researching their dream wedding team uh, on Google, Um, they never look for just one point of reference. So, you know, we all know that ideally we want a website, we want our social media to be updated and present. But unfortunately, this isn't enough to um, sort of take our uh, prospective clients over that sort of invisible bridge, as I like to visualise it. And it's basically, we want to take them from you know, being a lurker in the background on our social media all the way through to actually clicking on that um, inquiry form on your web page or giving you a call. And that is like the invisible bridge of trust, really, that you need to build with that online prospective wedding client. And within the um, online marketing arena, there is a general thought around the 7-11-4 rule. And so when consumers are looking to make a considerable purchase that costs a considerable amount of money, which in the wedding industry, this is quite normal, um, they are looking for seven hours of contact and or, and, and or content from wedding suppliers. So this could be things like um, your real wedding blogs on your own personal blog on your website, um, videos on Instagram and um, other social media, your website content, reviews and editorials that you might have been part of and potentially in-person wedding fairs that you've been um, attending. They also look at within that 11 touch points. So they're also looking for the um, things like you being in brochures, uh, finding your business cards in relevant places, looking at your website, again, your social media content, maybe a go- your Google business profile and other suppliers and previous clients recommending you. So they're looking to find you in lots of different uh, places to basically 
you know, share that kudos and, and show that you are an expert within your field. And then they're, lastly, they're looking at four different locations. So they, they need to see you in at least four different locations, like your website, third party directories, you know, being featured on other directory and website blogs, um, and also maybe third party review sites. So it's basically looking at how you can repurpose your your content and your presence across as many platforms as possible in the online space. Because when when someone is interested in your services, they will 100% put your name in Google or your sort of topic of um, specialism, and they will want to see you popping up in all the relevant places. It's again, it's to build that sort of online trust and get them over that invisible bridge of trust. So you will quickly see from what I've been chatting about that online wedding directories form part of your overall marketing um, strategy. And especially when you're looking to specialise within a particular niche within the wedding industry, it is really worth researching and finding wedding directories that um, specialise within where you want to specialise in. So they are attracting couples that are looking for your services in that particular specialism that you want to be found within. So from this, when measuring the success of your wedding directory profiles, if you've chosen to sign up to um, ones maybe on a monthly basis or yearly, it should be more about what visibility your um, directory page is getting. So what pa- ha- what number of page visits are you getting per month? And what time are they spending on your profile reviewing your content? Are the right people landing on your web pages, um, sorry, on your directory pages, um, rather than measuring it on the amount of inquiries that you directly receive through your directory portal. Um, because at the end of the day, you know, they're going to be doing that lots and lots of research. And actually, the, the last place they go could well be the inquiry form on your website, rather than putting in an inquiry via a directory. So, however, they may well have viewed your content on the directories and on the blogs that you've submitted your content to. So that's just a really important point to remember. The return on your investment from wedding directories is more of a holistic approach rather than a direct inquiry measure. Taking this into account, there are clear major benefit to being part of wedding directories that specialise within the wedding niche that you want to be known for. And so I've put together my nine top tips on how to maximise the visibility of your wedding directory profiles um, to basically get you in front of your ideal wedding client via Google search. So number one, Make sure you select a main profile photo that is eye-catching, high quality and represents your main business offering. So your main profile photo is the very first impression couples browsing the online wedding directory have upon your wedding business. So make it count. Make sure the image is of the sort of right orientation and it is of the best possible resolution that works best for that directory website. Um, As the last thing you want is an image that is either blurry or, you know, is distorted in some way because it just lets your business down right at the the get go. Um, So make take some time to get this right. Number two. Ensure your wedding business name at the top of your profile reflects the business name you want to be discovered for in Google. Um, So it's worth remembering that the business name at the top of your web page is more than likely classed as the H1 title by Google. And this means that Google pays, pays really close attention to what it says and uses this to rank your profile under the relevant search terms. And so 
when you think about it, if your business name is slightly abstract, it may be worth considering adding your sort of wedding category specialism um, at the end of the the title um, to make sure that your search engine optimization sort of keywords, you are being pulled up for the right um, search term when people are looking in Google. So an example of this is if your wedding business is called Poppy and Pearls, um, for search engine optimization purposes, um, what would really be- um, benefit this wedding business uh, wedding supplier would be to instead of just having poppy and pearls if that's your name on say instagram and even that's your domain name really on a directory you want to put poppy and pearls cake designer so instantly your h1 search term will be pulled through on google and you'll be ranked much more relevant to what your specialism is number three Use bullet points or H3 subtitles to share um, your SEO keyword phrases at the start of your profile. So before you start talking about, you know, going in depth on your main uh, business description, at the top of the description, it would be great to have um, bullet pointed um, words and phrases that are summarise what your offerings are, what you specialise in. Um, and again, capture the sort of H3 subtitles. So again, Google is going to be looking out for this content. This is great for skim readers, as when you think about it, people that are going to be clicking on your profile, they will want to quickly get a gist of what you're all about very quickly, or they will leave the page. Um, If they can quickly pick up on some bullet points around what you specialize in and your offerings, they'll be like, oh, actually, yep, this could be a potential and they're much more likely to read further on. And this will most likely, if they're the right, if they're your target client, they will much more likely to read your full bio and find out exactly what you're on about and get a real flavor of your personality and passions for what you do. Remember, again, within the within the bullet points or, and subtitles, maximise your opportunity for getting in your search engine optimization keyword phrases, um, again, which will help in your ranking in the Google uh, search engine results pages. One thing to note, if you are part of a few wedding directories, because you sort of span a couple of wedding niches, for example, make sure that each of your... Um, keyword phrases for each of those directory profiles are relevant to that niche. So for example, if you're part of the Boho Bride Guide wedding directory, the guide directory, um, we specialise in outdoorsy boho inspired wedding days. And so make sure you cater your keyword phrases to that audience. What are boho inspired couples going to be searching for in Google? You know, compared to if you're part of another um, uh, wedding directory that specialises in alternative and quirky, use those words within your content and make it relevant to the uh, directory profile that you are writing. Number four, create original directory profile content for your business description that includes your keyword phrases. So in simple terms, your profile description on each wedding directory that you choose to be part of needs to be original content, i.e. not written anywhere else on the internet. And so it is not, you know, beneficial for you to copy your um, written content from your website and paste it into each of your directory profiles. It's not... um, Google will see this as duplicate content because it's basically verbatim and it basically won't rank your um, directory profile page in the SERPs, in the search engine results page, because they basically doesn't see any value in duplicated content. 
Um, there is um, a bit of a caveat. So it actually works well if you are able to use extracts. So a few quotes or sentences or taglines from your website will be absolutely fine. You know, so small quantity of written content is absolutely fine. And even you can link it back to where it's from and then you'll be adding an external link, which Google also likes. But the majority of your um, profile description needs to be original new content to maximize your visibility um, on each of your directory profiles. Number five. Your profile description should be a reflection of your elevator pitch and showcase who you are as the wedding business owner. So don't be afraid to write in first person and share your personality and passion for what you do. Because after all, people buy from people and your audience is looking for connection with you and they want to understand what makes you tick and ultimately what you stand for as that wedding business owner. So make sure you do this and also within your description as part of your elevator pitch, make sure that you've included what you specialise in, who you serve and how you serve them. Number six, share your business values and ethos. And so further down after your sort of main overall description in um, your directory profiles, it's a great opportunity for you to go deeper into your business values and ethos. And so when you're thinking about it, if readers have made it this far down your profile, they are clearly looking for more information around who you are, what your values are, and whether they want to work with you on their wedding day, on their special day of their lives. So I'd really massively recommend spending some time to compose a paragraph or two that reflects what your ethos is in business and, you know, what you specialise in within the wedding industry and, yeah, what what it means to you, really. Um, And also, again, within this, don't forget to maximise your SEO keyword phrases for Google ranking. But ultimately, yeah, it's a great opportunity to get that personal connection um, with the reader and make them want to find out more about you and make that all important initial inquiry. Number seven, name your images. So the, the images that you use on your wedding directory, make sure that you include your name, business name and a few words to describe each image that you upload. Um, this can be done prior to uploading um, and save them in your computer files as the names that you want them to appear on your wedding directory. This is because Google trawls the profile page but also trawls the images and the names of those images to gain additional information on where you rank um, in Google. And so if you have got that you know, that specific information within the image title, um, Google can also use that to maximise your visibility. Number eight, keep your reviews section up to date so prospective wedding clients can see what your previous couples are saying about you. And so, as always, testimonials and refer reviews of previous customers that you've made their day absolutely amazing is super important to build that um, trust and kudos amongst your brand as a wedding business owner. So whichever wedding directories you've got the opportunity to share reviews of previous clients, make sure you do so. And so I'd really recommend when you follow up with any previous uh, wedding couple that you've done their wedding day for, I would send them an email with your Google um, review link as well as your directory profile links so they are able to share how amazing you are on each of your um, profiles. And last but not least, um, remember to revisit and refresh your directory business profiles every six months or so. As when you think about it, we are continually growing and developing as wedding businesses. And so just revisiting your content 
updating the keyword phrases that you want to be pre uh, visible for, updating images and videos, reviews. Um, it all works towards keeping your um, profile at the top of Google search results and getting those ideal wedding clients to see your profile and how amazing you are. Oh, and I have got a bonus top tip for you. Um, so I have seen how effective sort of um, intro uh, bios are that are video um, based that where you can introduce who you are, what you specialize in, who you serve and share your elevator pitch but from a video media rather than just written. This is um, a quick clip that you can record and um, upload onto YouTube and then use that link so it is present on all of your wedding directory profiles as well as your website if, um, if you uh, fancy that. But it's a great way to again build that connection, and make and build that know, like and trust factor amongst people that are browsing your content and browsing your wedding directories. Um, so they ultimately feel like they already know you before they pick up that phone or make that inquiry. So there you have it, my nine slash 10 top tips on how to maximize your um, visibility from your wedding directory profiles. I hope you have taken away some value from today's session. Um, and if you have any queries at all, um, I would love to hear from you on Instagram. I'm Wedding Business Growth Coach um, and I, I tend to hang out there and please do DM me direct. From the Boho Bride Guide point of view, we are actually um, still Still on an intake at present. It is the month of September 2022 and we are open to um, until the 7th of October. So if you are looking to position yourself as an expert within the boho inspired weddings arena, it is definitely worth checking out our wedding directory blog and um, supplier community. Um, you can find all the details over at the bohobrideguide.com. Um, but again, please do DM me direct if you've got any queries. I will very much look forward to seeing you at the next podcast. Take it steady. My new free downloadable activity pack is now available. Get visible, build connection. The free resource provides you with everything you need to plan one whole year's worth of face of your business online content to build an authentic brand that aligns with you as a person and builds that all important connection between you and your audience. The activity pack includes a bonus template for you to take away and plan your four years worth of face of your business posts, taking out the overwhelm and kicking you into action. So what are you waiting for? Download yours today at weddingbusinessgrowthcoach.com forward slash biz dash resources. I hope you enjoyed today's episode and took away some wedding business building value. Make sure you subscribe to the Wedding Business Growth Coach podcast to ensure you get notified every time a new episode goes live. See you next time.